Money is the god of our time, and Rothschild is his prophet. Heinrich Heine. I want to be a banker. I was fighting against those ideas when you were practicing law and representing your contributor, Resco, in his slum landlord business in inner city Chicago. That was Monday night, Senator, and I know you don't have video. You can't see what I'm about to put up on the screen right now, but I'm going to put up a picture right now that we've received, and this is a picture of you and your husband, Bill Clinton, posing with that same man, Tony Resco. It is undated. I'm going to tell you right now. We know it's him. We don't know when it was taken. We think it was taken during your husband's presidency. I'm just curious, do you know anything about the picture? Do you know when it was taken? Do you remember meeting this man? The five Rothschild houses constitute an early version of what later became known as the multinational. Perhaps the most important point to grasp about this multinational partnership is that for most of the century between 1815 and 1914, it was easily the biggest bank in the world. Strictly in terms of their combined capital, the Rothschilds were in a league of their own until, at the earliest, the 1880s. The 20th century has no equivalent. Because they were so rich, the Rothschilds could plainly claim a material equivalence with the European aristocracy. They relished the sense that they were sans pareil. In this sense, phrases like kings of the Jews, which contemporaries applied to them, contained an important element of truth. That was exactly the way the Rothschilds saw and conducted themselves. There are no fewer than 153 species or subspecies of insect which bear the name Rothschild, as well as 58 birds, 18 mammals, and 14 plants, including a rare slipper orchid, Caffio pedalum Rothschildianum, to say nothing of three fish, three spiders, and two reptiles. The family's almost equally recurrent enthusiasm for the pleasures of the table has also bestowed the name on a souffle and a savory, prawns, cognac, and gruyere on toast. 
There are towns and numerous streets named after members of the family in Israel. Rothschild-owned vineyards at Mouton and Lafitte whose wines are drunk the world over. Numerous Rothschild-built houses from the Vale of Aylesbury to the Riviera. And there is even a Rothschild Island in the Antarctic. 